And we're back. I went ahead and took the liberty of sailing back to London. And I also picked up some more of that Sphinx stone, so I need to go ahead and deliver that. Actually, I think I might have already delivered that since last time. Alright. Cool. <clears throat> so, what's next is turning in our port reports. We have been to some new places. Also stop by the Shepherd Isles, get some fuel there. Port Carnelian, we've done that one before. Let's go ahead and, uh... Actually, does the, uh, diplomat take port reports? I don't think she does. Let's go ahead and grab another agent. Since we lost that one earlier, we'll go back to the uh, Admiralty Survey Office. We'll report on Adam's Way, the Elder Continent. Hmm. Elder than what? Pile of mythodrate nonsense, if you ask me. There's the salt lions, and we're good to go on that. Let's see, I would like to explore north and try to find that Chapel of Lights. Let's see what else is up there. In which case... Let me see, where did she suggest her mother might be? That would be in our journal. I don't know if we'll get to any of those. We'll see, though. Let's go ahead and get news. Let's see... It says there's a new recruit. No, just a regular Zailer. Don't need that. Alright, let's pick up some fuel. A couple of supplies. And since we're heading north, we can swing by Vendor Bite and just drop off a bunch of wine. There we go, fill up on that. And we'll head by Vendor Bite and we'll head up towards Codex and then just keep going right. Drop off this wine. We'll explore vendor bites real quick. We don't have any room for this guy, so we'll just say nothing for now. What else? Gather some gossip. Port report. And there was that restaurant that the uh, the factor at the the funging station mentioned to us, so let's check this out. Fine cuisine and vendor bite? Now that would be something. A corkscrew street. At the twisty tip of an odd little side street, welcoming yellow lights glow from the glitter from the gilt lettered windows of a restaurant. A sign reads Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A grey moustache pokes impertinently from under his bandages. Oh wow, we can recruit this guy as a cook. I don't think we have a cook. It costs 300 Echo, though. Hmm, perhaps another time. I really don't feel like spending all of 300 for another recruit just yet.
let's stop into Wither here. We'll just ignore that Restless Nights for now. Huh, I don't recall seeing this before. A chilly city beside a waste of salt. But to the northwest of Wither Town, the House of the Question stands alone. Here the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the Deep Z, and perhaps a fourth who is not a god. It's the one place in Wither where you can sometimes get a straight answer for a price. So we can gain Stone's attention, ask about the drowned man, or defy the gods. I really don't feel like doing that one, that sounds like a bad idea. What about the drowned man? A hundred echoes. Ah, uh, perhaps not for now. Let's go into Wither. Behind the great arch over the bay, the pale wastes stretch, white and silent as the face of the moon. From here, you might almost imagine they were snow. North of the city, the sart pools fizz with unlikely color. The salt pools, not sart pools. Explore the town? Yeah, let's do that. Wither is a quiet, chilly town of gray stone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have the irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. An intriguing smell. Who will try? Who will buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. Let's try the shredded jellyfish. It's not to everyone's taste. Jellyfish, the food of queens. Traces of its venom still remain, just enough to make your tongue tingle and alter your consciousness a touch. Your pulse accelerates, and odd thoughts sparkle in the forefront of your mind. We succeeded a heart's challenge, gained fragments, and lost to terror. Let's gather intelligence. The citizens of Wither enjoy questions, so much so that they always answer a question with another question. This can make intelligence gathering frustrating. Are you asking for any particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually, you cobble together enough implication and supposition to compose a report. Let's see. Help Maybe's daughter search for her mother. What are the chances on this one? 8%. Nothing. I have been asking questions for three hours, and every time I ask a question, they reply with a question, and I think I might... Well, I might, but I didn't. I just picked their pockets. I think that's entirely reasonable under the circumstances, don't you? Here's your share. Let's go and look somewhere else. All right, we got 25 Echo and Mutter Salt, which means we can now dine with one of our officers, the, uh, the campaigner. Ah, uh, 50 Echo for Shore Leaf. Sure, we'll try it. Okay, all it did was just reduce some tear. Yeah, nothing too exciting there. All right, well, that really wasn't worth it, but that's okay. We can buy fuel for Z stories. That's pretty funny. And we can buy supplies for Tales of Terror. Hmm. We have a shit ton of those, I think. Yeah, we have ten. But it's probably still better to just stick with the uh, supplies in London that we hopefully will keep getting from the university.
Mount Palmerston. This is where we were supposed to deliver those souls. They ended up getting stamped, but we still might be able to deliver them. We'll see. Brimstone. Always brimstone. Sullen lights glow green at the jetty's edge. Behind the port buildings, the island is knee-deep in ash. There are ruins here and there of houses destroyed by fire. Far above, the mountain's top flickers red just an instant. Okay, we can still deliver them, even though they're stamped. It's just a different one. Deliver your smuggled souls. A hooded figure with a lantern waits at the far end of the quay. A hurried exchange. You give the hooded shape a sign of recognition. It hisses the reply you expected. You hand over the crate, and you receive a chitty marked with a thief sign. You'll receive the promised re re remuneration in London. Sure. Chat to the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell, and the aristocracy of devils fled here. Here they plot in exile. A shrug and a curse. They don't do us any harm. They stay up there and we stay down here. If hell's fighting itself, that's good for all of us, isn't it? It's a port report. Explore the island. Tangles of thorned scrub climb the rocky slopes of the volcano. A privateer encampment. This was an empty cliff top above the bleak waves. Now it blazes with color. Striped tents, colored flames, the music of pianola and kettle drum. Mustachioed women and languorous men play chess. Carve bones, eat cats, and polish their terrifying brass weapons. These are Iron Republic privateers, pirates whose practices cannot contravene the very laws of nature. Uh, probably not worth it. Let's try to listen. 80% chance. We got this. Creep close and eavesdrop. The Republic is privy to the gossip of hell. Creep close and you may learn impossible secrets. Fragments of meaning. They are speaking of a raid on the Khan's glory, from which they stole pieces of prayer, of a boat that a rival band made about of a boast that a rival band made about stealing the Empress's wedding dress, of a sort of spiced meat which fills the heart with love. But they speak too, almost coherently, of privateer layers in the Western Wall, of passwords in use, of brass embassy protocols, and of tuning techniques for drawing lost souls, lost souls close. A buzzing rises in your brain as you listen, until your eyes become unfocused and your tongue feels thick and heavy. You creep away before anything worse can happen, but this is an odd and useful miscellany of facts. Got 49 fragments and gained one terror. The only other thing we could do is dig among the ruins, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Hmm. Well, the fuel here is actually cheaper than London, so we'll go ahead and pick some of that up. Devil Bone Dice. Was there any use for these back in London? I really can't recall. Wasn't there a way that we could go up? Well, I guess now we don't have that option. Huh. Sure, well, uh, yeah, let's try to dig among the ruins. Perhaps the villagers left valuables behind. You could pick over their remains to see what you might find, you ghoul. A crimson cache and a dry well choked with ash behind a shattered farmhouse. You find two casks of zoop. Emergency supplies or hidden treasure. No one will ever return for them. Nice, we've gained, we've lost two supplies, gained two zoops. Lost a memory, we've gained a distant of memory shores and we've gained some terror. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy some supplies, since we're a little bit low. It's a little bit pricier than London, but it's honestly not that bad. And we've made our delivery now, that's pretty awesome. So, um... I think I might like to head down to the salt lines and grab another delivery, take it back to London, since our cargo space, by the time we get there, should be about, uh, about free.
Ah, uh, crawling stars again. Ooh, we were unlucky this time. So we've gained a little bit of terror. Let's go ahead and turn our light off and hopefully we can avoid this guy. Go ahead and get a port report here. Okay, that ship does seem unfriendly, so we're just going to go ahead and turn off our lights and leave. Reduce our terror, get the port report, and let's see, do we have 20? We have exactly 20. Perfect. Now we just head due west. And I'll stop by uh, the Shepherd Isles and the Abbey Rock on the way in just to get those port reports. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. First things first, let's deliver the Sphinx Stone so we can uh, clear up some space. Oh, this is new. The Bright-Eyed Sequencer. That stone's full of old memories. The bazaar has been drinking them. She nods at the spires that loom over London, the dark limbs that sprawl through the streets. I have a better destination. Help us bring little, little here below and we will reward you, reward you richly. Oh, help us bring light here below, and we will reward you richly. Rich reward, light, these are happy words. A brilliant smile. Captain, thank you. You are clear of eye and clear of spirit. Bring the Sphinx, uh, Sphinx Stone south to the Grand Geode. It was an Admiralty base once. Now it's something wonderful. She kisses you warmly on the cheek. We'll see you soon. A dusty gentleman. Captain, wait, she gave you an errand, didn't she? She serves a certain power. A bright one, but not a friendly one. I have a counter-proposal. Will you listen? 
tired eyes, sallow skin. He stoops like a clerk and coughs like a miner, but that frock coat is of the finest fabric and the newest cut. My name is Penstock, he says. The bazaar has been feasting on old memories from the salt lions. It only makes her more melancholy, and that's worse for all of us, but especially those who love her. So we've found another use for the Sphinx Stone. We can set something right. Take it far away. We'll tell you where. You will be paid. So we have a choice here. Do we want to go to the Geode? I kind of want to go to the Geode. So I'm going to reject this guy's plea. He smells of ammonia and sadness. You should go somewhere that does not smell of those things. Please, if you change your mind, I'll still be here. Please, the bazaar. She has been so sick with stories. Help me. Help her. So our hold is still pretty capped out there. Let's see. Let's visit the scholar. We can uh, turn in our strange catch. There's really nothing else worth turning in just yet. I'd rather hold on to it. What else can we do? We can do the docks. Meet with our consort, the likely lass. Lose some terror. Uh, any actual new recruits? No. We can go ahead and submit our port reports to get some fuel. Mount Palmerston, the Brimstone Convention. They trouble me, Captain. There's Godfall and Venderbite and Wither. Shepherd Isles, submit as fact. We never succeed on that one, it seems. Abbey Rock. Okay, now we're overloaded. Let's just get rid of one of these zoops. I don't really think they're going to be particularly useful right now. So, we really can't do much until we clear out our inventory, so I'd like to just go down to the Grand Geode and drop off that uh, Sphinx Stone, and from there we can hopefully figure out some stuff. Here we go. Let's compile a port report and deliver the Sphinx Stone. The bright-eyed sequencer sent you here. Another equally bright-eyed quartermaster awaits you and your stones. The stones, marvelous. The bazaar is the enemy of our light. It's the enemy of anyone with eyes, too. Nasty, greedy, tentacled thing. Well, our light will sort it out, you'll see. Because you have eyes, and wonderful eyes they are, too, if I might say so. The stone of yours will help. And we reward those who help us. Here, a bundle of banknotes. Here, 
a monograph on perception, and here. She leans forward and kisses you, once on each eyelid. As she draws back, the world has changed. You always knew the Neath was a place where the laws of the sunlit world did not apply, but now, somewhere, you can see it. Is this chaos or freedom? The quartermaster directs her laborers to pack up the stone. The Z is quiet. The geode glows like a lamp. We've gained a thousand echoes. We've gained a secret. We've gained one mirrors. We've gained a searing enigma. And we have delivered the last load of sea li- of salt, of a uh, sphinx stone from the salt lions. We now have rising prem- supremacy, the dawn machine, and the light. It's pretty. Talk to the constable, or the commodore, rather. Cool. Alright, let's head back to London. Our stuff's getting pretty low. I think if our supplies run out, we could probably eat that zoop or something like it. If not, we can just cannibalize the crew, because why the hell not? That's part of this game. But hopefully it won't come to that. I'll swing by the Iron Republic on the way up too, and buy some cheaper fuel there. And let's avoid that ship that has 400 health when ours has 46. Back to Hell's client state. We gained a heart from doing our port reports, and we've also gained a tale of terror and memories of distant shores. Go ahead and get some cheap fuel, and let's open up that uh, market. Oh, we can sell that zoop, huh? Uh, do these sell well in London? I have a feeling that they might. Should I chance it? I'll chance it. Spend about... So those bought for 38. Hopefully we can sell those somewhere. If not, we just wasted like 500 echoes, but... I have a feeling that we'll be able to get those off our hands. Also, I'm going to burn up some fuel here, trying to get back to London, so we don't completely run out of supplies. Hopefully we don't end up uh, blowing up our engines. Excellent. Alright, well we have no suspicious goods, I don't think. Oh, whoops, we no longer have romantic- yeah, we declared it, so now we have approved romantic literature. Ah, that's alright. Alright, souls delivered. What a propitious and proprietous and encouraging occasion this is to meet you again here in this place, which has been so very fortunate for us both. Allow me to shake you warmly by the hand, since you have demonstrated your unswerving commitment to fair dealing and honest convert- conveyage. Very good, my patron will toast you. Okay. I'll mess that up a little bit, we'll get rid of some fuel. Gain 200 echoes, 5 fuel, and 2 supplies. 
Once more we find ourselves here with the quayside, what I would suppose you might say to the lip of the well of opportunities. Let us both drink deeply from this well, by which I mean my patron has a task for you. Take a payment across the ocean and bring back a little package. Sure. Here's the money. Don't lose it. Now bring the package back here, and it is my hearty recommendation that you avoid the ungentle attentions of the excise. On account of in re on account of if you return without the package, it is of no interest to my patron whether you have lost it or had it taken from you. Good luck, good luck. So we've been asked to collect a package from Polythreme, and it sounds like it's going to be something illegal, so... I'm going to go ahead and buy something that I know should be useful for this. But first, we need to try to sell that coffee, which we bought for 38 and it sells for 44 so excellent. We will make a pretty nice profit margin. 3333, three, three, three. alright. And we are going to buy a secure compartment. And fit it to a slot. Where will that go? Does that will that actually go anywhere or not? Oh, it equips to the aft, and we don't have uh, space for it. Shoot! So we'll have to bribe them then. I'm still going to hold on to this because at some point when we get a better ship, we'll have room for that. Our uh, our ideal one that I'd like to get is this merchant ship, but that's eight thousand echoes or seven thousand if we trade our ship. What is it that we're rocking? Okay, we're rocking this guy. Some of these get pretty expensive. All right, so let's do some port reports. Iron Republic, Grand Geode, Salt Lions. Let's see. We'll cruise with the likely lass. Reduce some terror there. So next, this guy wants us to go to Polythreme. So I think we'll try to do that next time, and we'll leave it off here.